support the family. Do you think that will carry through for the rest of society? Would people support the family given the father is currently in prison serving a conviction for terrorist defence? Recognise that this campaign is at its very early stages. The petition has only become available for people to participate with over a matter of days and has already secured thousands upon thousands of signatures. So it is really going to be a question of people being aware People weren't aware when this law was put onto the statute book. They've only even become to, come to begin to be aware since um, the attempt to apply this law has been placed in front of this family. So, as long I th I'm very confident that with people being informed of the facts, not fictions that may surround the situation, they'll be able to make informed decisions and they'll put their name to it. Because it may be the Faruqi family today, it'll be you tomorrow. Greater Manchester Police clearly feels it has legal footing for, for invoking this part of the law. What's your view on that? Well, the law has been written, hasn't it? But it's being tested through a test case. I don't think it's a coincidence that the attempt to test it is being enacted through a family with a Muslim religious identity because of everything that's been going on over the last 10 years in terms of the demonisation of Muslim identity in this country, which cannot really be separated from the involvement of the British state in a number of illegal wars, etc., etc. They're capitalising on that, on that. But what you've got to think about is all the other families um, who have members of their family who have been found guilty of a criminal offence. The principle here, if it is allowed to stand, will mean that every other family in the country becomes liable to eviction from their home. And that can never be right. So you're suggesting that this family is something of a, a soft target for the police? I wouldn't use those words. You've used those words. Um, what I'm saying is that I don't think it's a coincidence that the first family that have been attempted to be used in this way is from a Muslim background. And I think that that is very counterproductive for um, community relations and cohesion in our society and for intelligent and constructive integration between different groups of people who come from different faith backgrounds. One of the beauties of this campaign is it's crossing faith boundaries, as it should. Great.